ويبقى Good hustle. Woolridge. Down the lane. Timmy. Holding on to the basketball will be tough tonight for LMU. Gonzaga's defense is terrific. And LMU is without a true point guard. He's really known as a three-point shooter, but he's got the green light. Ayayi missed. Petrusha. Last year, those are the three players they lost just before the start of the season. That's a good look down the baseline and a right hand by Lea Pepe. Little drop step. Got his miss. Hits the putback. Ayayi, who really has emerged this year. Woolridge, lightning quick, drops to Timmy, who's having a great start. Miss. Lions score 66 a game. As Dan pointed out, they can be deliberate in the half court. Scott bumps, left hand finish. Tight curl. And if you're going to get in a 50 50 ball, more times than not, Scott's going to come up with it because of his strength. Mm -hmm. Able to control guys' emotions and get them to play in the right space mentally. Kispert to steal. For more, makes you guard, makes you think, makes you know your personnel. Ball's on the floor. Edmund Gilder is in. Up ahead in Woolridge. This time eye-opener, I'm sure, for Coach Few and the staff. But, you know, the thing that is so good about Ryan Woolridge is he knows his strengths and weaknesses, and he plays to his strengths. Guys, this is a kid who said he is just blessed to be able to be playing for Gonzaga right now. He injured his right knee his last season at North Texas, and he didn't know. The sophomore out of Bulgaria. Again, LMU going right down to the end of the shot clock. And the big kid falling away. Red-shirted. Really didn't play an important role last year. Gilder driving, scoring. And a hard drive. And a nice follow by Parker Dortch. Kispert dribbling through traffic. Ayayi, a three. Got it. LMU hasn't been able to really push tempo. This is Johansson, and he hits a three. That was much needed. Has checked in for LMU. And he's got the assignment of Petrusha. Look at that. A blow by and a layup. But when you're guarding someone as quick as Woolridge, you've got to do your best to keep him in front. Ali Piev, Ivan, number 22, and he'll throw it in, or at least try to. Scott's with the left hand. That guy is big and strong and has yeah. terrific touch. we got best rebounding teams in the country at nearly plus 10 a game. LMU about flat on the season. They've done a nice job competing. Ali Piev, their guards are able to guard bigs, and they've got bigs who can move laterally. That time, messed up communication on the switch. Wow, Petrusha, true point guard on this LMU roster. Quintana towards the ACL first game of the year. Nice pass. Yeah, great finish, too, by Jordan Bell. And in, by intensity, getting up into the deep, in the offensive player and get some opportunities in transition. And the lead is down to five for the number two team in the country. Timmy's back in. He's had a terrific first half with the left hand. Ten now for Drew Timmy. God, for probably the last five minutes of clock, Johansson, a high arcing shot that nestles in. Eric Johansson. Final seconds. Balls in Woolridge's hand. Kispert pops out, launches a three. Got it! Scott. Starting, stopping, falling away. Leah Pepe, Scott gathers and scores. Get it up, looks at the clock, backs in, falls away, draws iron, offensive putback, and that's Jordan Bell. And a call for the ball in the low blocks. Kispert feeds the post, Petrusev spins, scores, and a free throw. Play, no. Woolridge has yet to really get going, but there's the left hand. Tali Piev off the cut with the ball. 
And again, shot clock's down at five. He's got distance. He's got some moves. He may have taken an wow. extra step. His tip won't go. Woolridge. Downshifting. Scoring. He, as quick as he is, he always one of the areas that he's really good that we ne haven't necessarily seen tonight is he's a willing passer as well in transition, which is so underrated for a point guard. Throw that ball. Petrusev looking for a seam. Kisper in the corner. Loose ball. Terrific by Timmy. Woolridge ahead. And right now, San Diego State doesn't have an opponent that has that type of net rating. You're exactly right, John Zaga. As Corey Kispert knocks down another three again, an offensive rebound off of a free throw is a cardinal sin. That's a strong drive by Jordan Bell. This is a difficult place to get a ticket unless you have a season ticket holder as a neighbor or a friend. I like this guy. I like my right future. Petrusev calling for the ball. Timmy against Scott gets through him and by him and scores. At USF begins to build that program up back up as well. Kispert to steal. Turnovers are coming in bunches right now for LMU. Gilder got it. <laughs> he cleared some space and then overshot everything. Woolridge creating. And Gilder again. Gilder, a Texas A&M transfer. Scott wins the battle for the ball. Got to get it up. Bowls his way in and scores. Uh, Kisper credit goes to Gonzaga. They do a really good job of guarding without fouling, making you score over the top. Yai got it. Oh, Ayayi to steal. And the hard thing to believe is he might be the most talented and versatile player on this roster. He's just struggled with injuries over the last two years. He was starting to play really well for a bucket. Definitely talented. Struggled with turning it over tonight six, but credit Gonzaga's defense on really focusing in on him. Gilder has been nails. The community. Tell you what, the women's basketball team here is dynamite this year. That's a nice three by Eric Johansson. Just blocked. That was pounded into the backboard. Gilder down the lane. Stan Dick Allen in the corner. 78-52. <laughs> Number two Gonzaga on top. And they faced him when they toured Australia. Oh, Timmy, drop step and a beauty. Crowd needs three more threes. Because not only do they sell out here, Scott steps through with a left hand hook. If the Banjos misses a three, and here come the Bulldogs. Gilder gets a screen, step back three. Tip won't go, that one is They've got Sakharov's like their, their number four big. We have a, a freshman sitting out that's Oof. not that eligible pass. due to NCAA sure. who will be eligible next year. Omar Bayou, very talented big. I don't know that they've got three threes left in them here with a minute 20 left and a big lead. That's a three. Parker Dortch gave them distance and a lead. Williams with a right hand stick and a dunk. And that'll do it. Number two, Gonzaga will head to Moraga for a showdown, a West Coast Conference showdown with St. Mary's on Saturday. Mark Few, who is not happy at halftime, got his message through.